In a previous video, we started a look at the Curve Editor in Vocodex. For more information on the basics of the Curve Editor and how to set up to be used on the EQ bands, please check back with Video 7, Curve Editor Part 1 of the Vocodex video series. And in this video, we're going to dig a little further into what can be done with editing the Curve Editors. First, let's take a look at the Envelope Follower section. This section acts as a multiplier to the envelope controls found above the Curve Editor. For more information on these controls, please have a look at part 6 of the Vocodex video series. The options that can be controlled here for the envelope follower are the hold, attack, and release settings. This allows you to multiply the current values. But of course, as it is done on the curve editor, it is possible for you to multiply those values on and around certain bands of the vocoder, thus allowing you options such as, for example, using a lower hold setting on the initial envelope controls and then increasing the hold for various frequency and ranges. You can add a little air to the vocoder by increasing the hold on the higher frequencies. Or another example is to add some more body to the vocoding effect by multiplying the release times to the lower end frequencies. The next section of values for the curve editor are labeled spectral distribution. Again, they are multipliers, and what these sections multiply are the band distribution settings. Again, found above the curve editor. For more information on these controls, please look back to video 6 of the Vocodex tutorials. The band distribution allows you to set the frequency for each of the bands. The number of bands that will be shown in the curve editor will depend on the number of bands that are set in the band distribution setting. By default, the starting pinpoint is at 0 Hz, which is represented at the bottom of the editor. The ending pinpoint is set at the highest possible frequency, which is represented at the upmost top part of the editor. Therefore, the curve editor can be considered to be linear. If I were to grab the starting pinpoint and move it to the top portion of the editor, the values for each band would be set to the highest possible frequency, and as such, only one band would be made audible. What this will allow you to do is to be more creative by specifying a frequency for each band. The bandwidth editor allows you to adjust the width of the bands separately from each other based on their frequency. By decreasing the curve, the bands will become narrower. By increasing, you are making the bands wider. So for this case, in example, I can do something simple by adding volume and body to the low end and mid range by increasing the width of these bands. And at the same time, I can thin out the high ends by decreasing the curve and making the bands in the mid to high end range narrower. If you are after unique and original copyright clear music for multimedia, if you are after unique and original copyright cleared music for multimedia. If you are after unique and original copyright cleared music for multimedia. If you are after unique and original copyright cleared music for multimedia. If you are after unique and With the band controls, you can control the characteristics of the voice by using the simple pitch shift perimeter. However, this is applied to all frequencies. With the pitch shift option of the curve editor, you are able to apply different amounts of pitch shifting to different areas of the frequency range. Say for example you wanted to create an extremely synthetic sound. You can apply a positive pitch shifting to the higher frequencies while applying a negative pitch shifting to the lower frequencies or vice versa. If you are after unique and original copyright cleared music for multimedia, if you are after unique and original copyright cleared music for multimedia. If you are after unique and original copyright cleared music for multimedia. If you are after unique and original copyright cleared music for multimedia. 
if you are anchor, you need to angle original. The final two parameters for the curve editor are saturation mix and saturation curve. Saturation is applied by adding distortion to the modulator source. The curve is mapped in a linear fashion. Increasing the starting pinpoint will adjust how much of the distorted modulator is heard. Before you do this, you'll need to access the saturation mix curve editor, as by default, no saturation is being applied to the mix. Using the saturation mix curve editor, bring up the levels of the bands you want saturation applied to. In my example, I'll start by adding 50% of the saturation across all bands. Now, moving back to the saturation curve, as I bring up the start and pinpoint, you can hear the modulator source with a small amount of distortion being applied. What we want to do is to add a pinpoint around the first band where the modulator is showing levels. Then, bring back down the start and pinpoint to a lower frequency. This will make the saturation blend into the vocoder effect as opposed to hearing the modulator straight up. Increasing this pinpoint will add to the saturation or distortion. You may also notice that the band's level displays will gradually change their color to white when saturation is being applied. Once you have your saturation sounding the way you like, go back to the saturation mix editor and edit the curve so that the saturation is only applied to the desired bands. And with that, we wrap up these videos on vocodex. We hope you have had a chance to get a better understanding of how a vocoder, and more specifically vocodex, works and how it can be used to add some creativity to your songs. If you are anchor, you need to add original copyright to your music for multimedia. If you are anchor, you need to add original copyright to your music for multimedia. If you are anchor, you need to add original copyright to your music for multimedia. If you are anchor, you need to add original copyright to your music for multimedia.